Well, hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. I'm your instructor for today. My name is Edison. Today's class, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about, it's called ACI Track Essentials, okay? I'm going to give you some of the basics, some of the essentials dealing with ACI Track. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is ACI Track. Well, ACI Track is our order database here at ACI. It's there where you can enter in your client's information as well as your appraiser's information right there in ACI Track. Now, you can also start your orders there in ACI Track as well. You can import your into your reports. You can also do your billing. Uh, I like to think of it as the back end of your business will take place right there within ACI Track. Well, that's a little summarization of ACI Track. Why don't I go into it right now? Here you go. You can see it's on your screen. What I'm going to do first off, I'm simply going to click on this icon right here, left click. And see right here, we have some fields. Now, the one required field within ACI Track is this one right here. It's the appraisal file number. Okay? Now, it can basically be anything you want. It's alphanumeric, but it is the one required field. Okay? Now, in ACI Track, we have some drop downs. As far as right here, we have our loan type. You can click on our drop down. See, we have conventional, FHA, etc., and uh, job type. All right, you can use our common responses, our drop downs that we have available, as well as you can type in your information within ACI Track. Well, since I mentioned comma responses, I guess it only makes sense I show you how to create a comma response in ACI Track. Well, I'm going to simply go to File, close out of my order, and now I'm going to go to Databases right here in the upper portion. Left click on Databases, and the area I want to go to is right here, comma responses. Left click on it. All right, so here are our field names, and here are some of the comma responses that corresponds with those field names. Well, the one I'm looking for is right here. It's called job type. All right, we have a couple of comma responses here. We have a good amount of them. I'm going to click on add, and I'm going to create an additional comma response, and I'm going to make this one called custom right there. All right, so now that I have my custom comma response for my job type, all I have to do is close out of the comma response setup utility, and uh, it's going to save it within the database. Left click on close, and now once again, I'm going to click on that icon that says new order. Left click on it. And let's go over here to job type and click on the drop, the drop down for job type, and there it is right there. There's my custom comma response that I created for my job type. Okay, so once again, like I said, that's how you can create a comma response. But what about adding a client as well as adding an appraiser? Can you show us how to do that, Ed? Absolutely. But let's close out of this, all right? Let's go to File, and let's go to Close Order. Let's go back to where it says Databases once again. All right, left-click on Databases. So I believe I'll start with our clients first, all right? Left-click on Clients. All right, take a look right here. We're in the Client maintenance utility and you can see right here we have our clients by client name see we have a little tick mark right here for name meaning that they're in alphabetical order based on the client's name now if you want you can put a tick mark right here for code and it'll sort your clients based on your client code all right now I like to go with name so I'm gonna stay with name all right and like I said I'm gonna simply create a new client so let's go to add all right so I'm in my client information setup utility so uh, Let's give my client a code, all right? I'm going to basically create a client that's called Bank of Palm Coast, all right? So let's make it B-O-P-C, okay, for the client code of Bank of Palm Coast. I'm going to simply type right here where it's going to say, obviously, Bank of Palm Coast, all right? Let's try it this way. There we go. All right, so there's my Bank of Palm Coast, and you can see for as the rest of information, I can enter in the client branch, street address, city, state, and zip, etc. Let's say, for example, I have that information entered in. Well, all I have to do is just left click on OK, and right here is my Bank of Palm Coast in alphabetical order based by the name. All right, so I showed you how to create a client within ACI Track. Now I'm going to show you how to create an appraiser within ACI Track. Now to do that, I'm going to first close out of my client maintenance utility and I'm going to go back to databases. Left click on databases, go back to, or shall I go to appraisers, and here we go. I have my four appraisers here. I'm going to create one more. All right, so let's left, go, left click on add. And you know what? I'm going to create myself. So I'm going to give myself my appraiser code is going to be EGR. And I'm going to just put in Edison. 
and let's put my last name in, Ragsdale, and there you go. So for Edison Ragsdale, you can enter in the street address, city, state, and zip, and all the necessary information that corresponds to moi, and then once you get it, to click on OK. And here I am in alphabetical order based by the name. All right? So very simply, that is how you can create the appraisers as well as the clients to go into ACI Track. Let's close out of this uh, appraiser maintenance utility and let's go back to this icon once again where it says new order, left click on it. All right, so remember that one required field? You remember which one it was? This one right here, it's the appraisal file number. All right, so I'm gonna enter in, let's see, let's enter in all 2015 for the year and then I'm gonna enter in 05 for the month and 08 for today's date. So like I said, that's the one required field, but I'm gonna to go to loan type, click on the drop down to make it a conventional loan job type. Let's make it a full appraisal. Client number one, let's click on my drop down. Uh, let's pick um, land safe appraisal service. Here we go. And client number two, let's make that one, oh, way down here in the bottom, Bank of Florida. All right, now for the address, I can type a little bit of that information in, so just bear with me. I'm gonna type in 12. And I'm going to make it Main Street. There we go. And let's make it Palm Coast, Florida, shall we? Okay, Florida. And let's enter in the zip code, 32164. Okay, so I just entered in some brief information. I'm going to move a little further down right here to my appraiser. Click on my drop down. All right, so I have several of my appraisers. I'm going to pick an apprentice for my appraiser. And a supervisor, I'm going to pick... Sarah Bellum. All right, so I have Anna, I have Sarah, and I have, like I said, some of the information for my order information field in tab. I'm going to click on the next tab over, which is called the billing information. Now, it's here in the billing information where I can enter in, yes, you guessed it right, the billing information. Billing information fee, I'm going to enter in $350. There we go. And then I'm going to go a little further down, and I'm going to enter in $50 right here. Now, you may be wondering, what's that $50 for? Well, we have a field right here where you can enter in a description. That $50 is basically going to be the trip fees. And you can see the $350, the $50, it's all being totaled up to a grand total of $400. All right. Now, moving a little further over here, see where it says send to? I have client one and I have my client two. Well, I'm going to have this order sent to client number one. So I'm going to put a little tick mark right there, which is going to go to land safe appraisal service. All right. Bill two, once again, client number one is going to stay with land safe appraisal service. Now, the actual appraisal is going to be done by Bank of Florida, client number two. So let's put a tick mark for client number two right there. All right. So I'm going to move a little further down right here where it says fee splits. All right. So I have Anna. I have Sarah. Let's do a little adjusting for them, shall we? Okay. I'm going to left click on Anna right now. And then what I'm going to do, let's, let's, do a little editing for Anna, okay? Left click on Anna. All right, so we have Anna Prentice, and what I'm gonna simply do is I'm gonna enter in 60. I'm gonna put a tick mark right here and make it 60%. All right, so that fee split is gonna be based on 60%, which is gonna be equivalent to $210. That's gonna be going to Anna Prentice. That's a lot more than $60, obviously, 60%. All right, so we have Anna taken care of. Let's left click on OK. Let's do a little editing for Sarah Bellum. All right, so Sarah is now highlighted, as you can see. Left click on Edit. OK, there's Sarah Bellum. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to enter in 20. Now, I can give her a little more than $20, as you can see right here. So let's put a tick mark for, for percent. It's going to be $70 going to Anna or excuse me, Sarah Bellum. I already took care of Anna. All right, so let's left click on OK. There we go. So I have Anna Prentice, 60%, $210. Sarah Bellum, 20%, $70. Did I leave something out? I think I did. I need to enter in that trip fee. OK, so let's do that right now. I'm going to left click on Add right here. Left click on Add. All right, and see right here where it says Name, and I have a drop down. Click on the drop down. There's an apprentice right there and then I'm gonna this time I'm gonna make it within dollar amount and I'm gonna leave a tick mark right there for dollar I'm gonna hit my tab key I'm gonna total up fifty dollars right there and within this field I can simply just type in a description and I know it's gonna be the trip fee so I type that in click on OK and there we go so once again grand total and an apprentice fifty dollar for the trip fee 
Anna Prentice, sixty percent, two hundred and ten dollars. Sarah Bellum, twenty percent, seventy dollars. And you see right here, the amount to split is three hundred and fifty dollars. Total to be paid is three hundred and thirty dollars. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, so I'm going to leave the billing information tab area, and I'm going to click on this one right here. It's called the additional info tab, and it's going to basically give me the capability of entering in the contact information. I can enter in the primary individual. Let's see. His name is John Doe. Anyway, you can enter in your primary uh, contact information person right there, as well as their work number and home number, and the best time to call John Doe, well, let's make it in the evening, okay? Special instructions, you can make it a little more specific. For example, let's call John after 5 p.m. Okay, call after 5 p.m. So you can enter that information within the special instructions. I'm going to click on the next tab over, which is the comments tab. And it's here where you can basically handle it just like a text document. You can enter in any additional notes within the comments tab. But the event history is a little different, okay? I like to think of it as a journal of this actual order. For example, if I just go right down here to where it says add, left click on add. All right, see right here, let's bring this a little higher. See right here where I have my date of today as well as the time and I can click on this drop down for the event and let's say for example oh I want to call it the assigned event and then within this field all I have to do is just type in this information so I'm gonna assign this order to Anna P there we go all right so you have a little description entered in that field and far as the initials well you know what I'm gonna enter in my initials EGR so they know exactly who entered that information in click on OK and here you go here's the event history right here I like to think of it as like a journal okay a trail far as this order all right so that's a little bit about the event history I'm gonna click on my order information right here and from here let's say like I said I have a little bit of my info entered into the order let's actually transfer this into my report by clicking on file then going right here to where it says open report now far as my report name I'm just gonna leave it as my appraisal file number all right and then from here I'm gonna put a check mark for launch report click on OK let's see what happens okay this is what happens it's obviously opening up ACR report but before it goes through that process it gives me a preview of my open order with some information now from here all I have to do is click on uh, click on new and from here all I have to do is decide on which report pack I wish to use so I'm going to click on my drop down and I'm looking for this one right here the 1004 single family 2010 all right I don't need a template so I'm going to select no on that click on OK and in a few mementos, I should be in my report that was created by my order. And I am. Here's that information, 12 Main Street, Palm Coast, Florida, 32165, and Bank of Florida. All right. Now let's go to my order page. Left click on the order page in my components list. Here's the rest of my information, okay? Here's my file number. It's a conventional, full appraisal, etc. Now, any edited information I I enter into this order will actually be updated within ACI track our order database system okay I also have an apprentice cerebellum and land safe appraisal service so that's a little bit about taking that order and sending it to ACI report and like I said any changes that I make within this report will be updated within ACI track now, I want to show you how to post a payment in ACI track. But before I do that, let me close out of this report file. Close. It's updating ACI track once again. Very good. And actually, let me exit out of this report. And here I am. I'm back into ACI track. Now, there's two ways on how to actually post a payment, okay, when it comes to doing it with a client okay when you're gonna post a payment to a client I'm gonna show you the two ways and how to do that I'm gonna show you way number one simply by going to file right here left click on file and then I'm gonna to go to open okay left click on open order right here okay now I'm gonna search for my report it should be somewhere 
close by. Okay, I located my order, here it is. And then from here, I'm just going to left click on open right here. And yep, that's my order. That's the order that I worked on. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna simply show you how to post the first payment. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the billing info right here, the billing info tab. I'm gonna go a little further down right over here, see where it says payment one, great. All right, so from here, like I said, I'm just gonna enter in 200 dollars all right hit my tab key right now it's in the field that's called check number all right so i'm going to enter in my check number. i'm going to make that check number one two three and all i'm going to do from here is simply go up to file left click on file and then i'm going to go to save and close order left click on save and close order all right aci track wants to make sure hey do you want to update your uh, report file absolutely left click on yes and just like that i posted my first payment to my client okay so that's way number one now I gotta show you way number two all right let's go to file once again and this time I'm gonna go right here to post payments left click on post payments all right now do you remember that client that uh, I was sending the payment to I believe it was land safe appraisal service yeah so let's click on the drop down for land safe let's look for land safe right here okay now all I have to do right now is just select a from and to date but let's be honest the payment everything was made far as the order was today so let's leave it as today's date but what I am going to do is I'm going to go to my select date click on my drop down and then go to the ordered date there we go all right so I have land safe I have today's date I have the select date which is the order date I'm going to click on search right over here in the upper right and there it is Here's my file number. Here's that amount due. All right. And all I have to do is make my second payment of $200 going to LandSafe, and I've paid them in full. All right. So let's enter in right here 200 And check number is going to be this time, well, let's make it four, five, and six. All right. And then from here, I'm going to click on pay. All right. So you can see here my first payment was $200. Check number one two three oops got to put my initials in here so let's put egr because i was the one that made that first payment and not only that i made the second payment as well two hundred dollars check number four five and six put egr right there see the amount is due 0, 0.00 click on ok do i want to update my report file absolutely left click on yes and i paid land safe appraisal service it's just that easy an ACI track. Now, it's also just that easy in paying your appraisers as well. But I will tell you this, in posting uh, a payment for an appraiser, you can't do uh, two payments like I just did with uh, the client. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You have to pay the appraiser in full. No problem there. I'm going to close this out. And once again, I'm going to go back to file in the upper left portion. And this time I'm going to go to right here where it says post appraisers payments. Left click on it. All right. Now, I have a tick mark right here for appraiser. That's what I'm going to search by. But you know what? I know my appraiser was an apprentice right here. Left click on Anna. And I know the date is obviously today's date. So I'm going to leave that alone. But this time, once again, I'm going to click on my drop down. And I'm going to make it my order date right here. Left click. So I have an apprentice, order date. And today is the date I'm going to be using from and to. Let's click on search. Left click. And there we go. Okay. An apprentice, full appraisal. Today's date, $50. Remember, that was a tri the trip fee, right? And then I have my $210 going to an apprentice for the full appraisal. So like I said, we can't split a payment, but we can pay her in full for both the $50 and the $210. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to left click on the first row, which is the $50 trip fee. Hold down my shift key. Tap the down arrow one time. See they're both highlighted. Great, because right now all I have to do is click on pay appraiser. Left click. And there we go. I was able to show Anna the money. All right. Paid her in full. Trip fee, $200, $210 going to the full appraisal. And it's done. Meaning posting a payment to an appraiser. All right. So very simply, that is how you can post a, an appraiser's payment, a client payment, and get a little more familiar with ACI Track, our order database system. Hope you folks were able to grasp that information. You have a great day as well as a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.